Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and um, I'm doing this video outside for now because it's warmer outside than in the house. So um, what I've done is uh, I've got this laptop from a client and she asked me to uh, replace or activate Windows 10 for her. Just to find out that I think she had a pirate copy of Windows 10 or they bought the machine second hand from a place. There was no product code on the laptop to be able to activate it and the laptop also didn't want to activate because it's a 2015 edition and as far as I could find out from the research it said that if you do certain updates it interferes with the um, activation of Windows. Uh, the other option was to activate it by phone but also it didn't want to do that because it had an error code and I followed uh, certain steps on, on, on Google on how to activate it or reset the Windows codes but nothing worked. So the only option was to go the long way. So come and check it out how I did it. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Okay, here we've got the laptop. It's an HP but I think it's a very old machine. As you can see, this is our problem. Activate Windows. Go to Settings to activate Windows. And uh, let's try and see what's going to happen if I do that. As you guys can see, it's also a very small machine. Only 4 gigs of RAM. It's an i3. So it's really an old machine. Okay. So let's go ahead and see if we can activate Windows and then I can show you what's, what goes on. And there's a problem right there. We can't activate Windows because we can't connect to the organization activation server and you get this error code 0xc004f074. Now when I did the research on this one it simply said that you can reset the code by um, doing certain steps on Google but unfortunately it did not work on this machine so I couldn't even activate it by phone the next obvious step was to do a fresh and clean installation of Windows 10 I proceeded to download the tool just to find out at the end of the day that this tool is not compatible with this version of Windows. I went through the license terms and agreement, accepted everything and I decided I want to do a fresh installation so I'm gonna wipe off everything. So I chose to keep nothing. At this point it was getting a few things ready, which I thought was uh, going quite well, until I hit the little snag. Yeah, like I said. So, luckily for me this laptop still has a CD-ROM drive and I still own an original Windows 8 copy. So I decided to go through the boot menu, make sure that I can boot up from the CD-ROM disk and restarted the machine to get into the Windows 8 disk. Now this is how you do the long way around boys and girls. You reinstall Windows 8 or Windows 7 whichever you have because then you can do the option of formatting the entire hard drive and then you just simply upgrade from Windows 8 up to wherever you are. Once we get to this point, just select the settings that you want and press next. At this point, choose custom install windows only. Because you don't want to upgrade it, we want to totally destroy whatever was on here. Best way to do that is to simply delete the two partitions that you have, create 
one new partition, format that partition and make it your installation destination for Windows 8. That will format the entire hard drive and get rid of the old Windows 10 that was on there. Oh, and remember guys, when you want to do this kind of setup, make sure the client already updated or backed up everything they had on this laptop because when you wipe everything off, you're doing drivers, programs, everything. So uh, luckily, the client already did back up everything, so she didn't lose anything and I was uh, free to continue with this kind of installation. And there we go, a fresh Windows 8 installation. But we're not done yet. Now we just have to make sure we can upgrade this to Windows 10. So since I personally like using Chrome, I had to reinstall Chrome onto the um, laptop. And then from Chrome I did my I did my search for downloading Windows 10. All you need to do now is follow the prompts. Wait until things are ready and just select all the stuff that you need to select. At this point, choose upgrade this PC now because we don't want to make a backup drive. It's not my laptop, so I'm not going to make a USB or DVD, ISO, or whatever. So um, you choose upgrading the PC. I really wish that my internet was this fast. But unfortunately, this was about four hours later. So my client has been extremely lucky. As you can see, it's going to install Windows 10 Pro. Just because I had Windows 8 Pro installed already and because it was a genuine Windows, she's getting a genuine Windows 10 Pro already activated. Lucky girl. And there we go guys, a brand new, fresh installation of Windows 10 Pro and let's quickly make sure that it is actually activated. And there you go, as you can see Windows is activated with a digital license. Voila, job done. It takes about, like I said, it takes about 4 hours to do the whole thing depending on the speed of your internet. But this is the best way to go and um, then you know we've got a genuine Windows, it's activated and you don't have any further problems so thanks for watching guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up remember to subscribe to this channel and also hit that bell icon twice so that you can be notified of any of my further update, uh, uploads until next time guys cheers